Hey guys, we're starting a new video series here. It's going to be three parts and it is going to be unboxing my mother-in-law's milk glass collection. She has agreed to start uh, selling the items. So Cindy and I had to go through, do an inventory, wash it all. And uh, so as we did that, we decided to film some of it. So hope you guys enjoy the series. Let's get into it. Hey guys, we have something different today. Number one, we're in our sunroom and it's very sunny because the sun's going down and we are full of sun. I'm going to move the camera up just a hair. There we go. And uh, Cindy's mom has been collecting milk glass for how long, honey? Well, she's 80 for about six, 55 years, 60. Yeah. Wow. And she has hundreds of pieces. Cindy and I have been married for 32 years and I've never seen but one or two pieces of it that have been sitting out in her house been packed away for years. So we thought it'd be fun to unpack it on video. Because my mom's willing to pass it on now. Yep, so we're gonna be selling it for her. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, just to say, there's a lot. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Yeah. So we'll just get started. Oh, that's a, when's this newspaper dated? 2004. All right. Oh, it's a huckleberry pie, milk glass, anchor hawking. It's the year at the bottom. 19... Five, 1980. So, cool. it's an amazing condition. It's a great little oh, stuff. Yeah, we're actually taking out of the newspaper and then we're rewrapping it in other things because it also all needs to be washed and i guess it's a milk glass this is just a mug she collected coffee mugs too <laughs> new orleans dixieland jazz nice one you got one okay. yeah, just sometimes there's little tiny stoppers written in and so i want to show oh. nothing's in the stoppers i mean little things all right here's another one strawberry shortcake <laughs> So what? And this is part of the reason we wanted to unpack all of it is because there might be sets. Mm -hmm. Like in this case, here's there's already a set of two. There might be four of those. Mm -hmm. So we have to kind of unpack everything to see because it's just randomly packed. You can open one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Another mug. I think this is the mug bag. Oh, Hubert H. Humphrey. Oh. Yes, they used to campaign for him, so they went to one of his dinners. And then on the back. <clears throat> Hubert H. Humphrey dinner, April 8th, 1978. Oh, the first. There you go. That's the first dinner they had. Mm -hmm. When And that's a good thing for like taking down to the Pink Elephant because it's a local. Piece. Pink Elephant's the antique store where I had my booth at. This is the mug. Montana. U.S. Post Service. Careful, but yeah. Oh, it's an ashtray. Milk glass ashtray, which from what I understand, and, and we sell a number of ashtrays at the Pink Elephant. And this one, you can't really tell it's an ashtray. You know, it's got the grooves. You can see how dirty it is. Um, and that's the other reason we're unpacking everything because we want to wash it all up. So we're going to have a lot of work ahead of us. But anyway, this is an awesome piece. So, sweet. You could use it nowadays even as a candy dish. Yeah, yeah, people use them for um, paint their art brushes if they're painting or crafting. Ooh, it's oh, Old Spice! <laughs> there you go, Old Spice, 100 grams. This would have been one of their shaving mugs. They would have soap in there and then you use the little <laughs> brush. Oh. See, like this, these fall out. Oh, yeah. So I all the oh, that's good. And there's one of the double ruffle hobnail. Oh. These used to be displayed on shelves and then they got packed away when they wanted to repaint and that's why they, they just got packed away dirty. That's a beautiful platter. They used to have it hanging on the wall, obviously. That's really cool. You could use that as a tray. There's Ooh. quite a few of these. And oh, so good. She, I'm assuming she had plates that went on them or yeah. mugs. I don't know. Yeah. And whatnot. Oh, oh, cute! Oh, it's Snoopy! Yeah. And Woodstock. 
At times, life is pure joy. That's awesome. And these mugs are in excellent shape. The design, the graphics are great. They don't look like they were um, put in the dishwasher, but this one does have a little chip right there. Another little hobnail base. That's cool. And this is also the time to start selling these things because um, weddings coming up. A lot of people are looking for white items for weddings. Oh, it's like Christmas. This is this is a flower vase, and you could put the little um, horns in there, little horn, like a a pern horn. I don't follow you. What? It's hard to explain. Horns. I'd have to show you a picture. Okay. They're like called horns. They're like little bells that come out. Oh, little hobnail goblet. Oops. Cheers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hobnail tankard. Trying to see the scene on it. It's like a German scene. Yep, a couple guys sitting at the table with the waitress serving a couple mugs of beer. Oh, that's beautiful. Vase. I love the hobnail ones, so I think there's a lot of hobnail. Mm -hmm. He loves hobnail. Oh, that's an unusual one. Oh, it's still got a flower in it. Oh, there's a little Ooh. swung base. Oh, I like that. A little hob one. Yeah. That's unique. Just a little one. That's really cool. Oh, put that one over with that one. Oh my gosh. Oh, so it's oh. like a baby one of them. Speaking of swung bases, this is the Big one. The 21 inch Fenton hobnail. Beautiful piece. And there's this one also. This one's unusual. I've not seen one. It's more like a bottle. Almost. Oh, here's something with feet on it. Lots of unusual pieces so far. Got feet. It didn't walk away. Oh, is that another horn thing? Oh, nope. Just a little. Although it looks like it would have had a lid. It's got a rim for a lid. It's probably in here. So we'll, keep, really we'll keep watch for that. It's got markings on the oh, bottom yeah. of that one. Mm -hmm. Brody? F-O... Oh, Brody. It's Brody. The Brody base. I think that might be the lid to that thing. Or something. Like no, I think it's a butter dish. Oh, nice. I think it's the bottom of a butter dish. So. There's another goblet. I know. <laughs> We're unpacking glass on the glass table. And these bags are heavy. Oh, there's a little, just a little one. Oh, these are gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is the lid, yeah. Here's the lid. The dish. Look at that lid. It's a little dirty, but that is really cool. I love the handle. Look at these. That is too fun. Oh. The luncheon plates with the roses. There should be matching mugs with those too. 
And there's six of those. Wow, those are beautiful. Beautiful plates. Nope. There's two in there. Oh yeah, this is that big leaf pattern. Those are beautiful. And then this one's the, it's the bubble. I don't know what all the patterns are about. Oh, another big leaf. It's not hot now. <laughs> no, it's the grapes, grapes and leaves. That's pretty cool. So you can see, there's lots. I think in tissue paper. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's pretty. That's a diamond. Got a... Look at the unique scrolls on that one. Oh, yeah, the candle, candle holder. holder. Yep. And it's got a yeah, unique little swirls on there. And this is designed so you can do a taper candle or the larger candle. So it's also stepped. So you can do the uh, different size candles on that. This is so cool. It's got pineapples and grapes. <gasps> oh! Now my understanding, and I'll look this up, but the pineapple ones are the rarer ones. Really? Yeah, with the pineapples. Um, cool. Particularly, the, they look for the punch bowl. But I don't that is, this is a really unusual piece. I don't know exactly what you would call that. And that's really cool. Some different swirls. Oh, yeah. It's got a nice swirl to it. And a lot of these, well, not these. But as you guys know, the older milk glass has the ring of fire, as they call it, or that glows red in the sun. That's a good thing to be here in the sun. I think that would oh, be... look at that. It probably it looks like it would have had the lid, just a little trinket dish. Oh, that's an unusual too. Oak leaves. That's really cool. Ooh, that looks that's TD. Nineteen seventy-five. That was even marked. So this one looks Hawaiian. Oh. Yeah, hibiscus stylized very nineteen seventies. Yeah, there's the seventies flowers. Oh. Look at that tankard. That is cool. Boy, she has some great pieces all hidden away. No idea. Okay, this one I, I can see already. It's got a reddish tone to it. Oh, this is the second one of this style. Square. Red base. This one feels like a candy piece. Ooh. Mm. Oh no, this thing, what? That is really unusual. Oh, that's cool. It look is, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's like... Yeah. It almost looks like birds on Yeah, they're birds seagulls. like flapping their wings. Yeah. Wow. And I like the, the piping oh. on the top, it's really unique. And there's the, it's got the mark of the G on the bottom. Is that me? I'm trying to remember what <laughs> company that is, it's a company. Mm. Indiana glass. I can't remember. Yeah. That is a beautiful vase. Love that one. Little serving tray. Oh, look at the back on that. That's beautiful too. Nice. <clears throat> nice place. I don't know what that. Well, it's the same same as that one. Probably a set of both plates. Cool. Oh, more stuff. Hobnail base. Cute. That's not common. Oh, this, that looks like a planter. That thing's heavy. Oh, look at that. It's like a hobnail planter. Wow. Amazing. Oh. Nice. 
Oh. The pink bell. Oh, the red is beautiful. Or is that pink? No, it's pink and white. It fades from pink to white. Does it shine in the light? In the... Yeah, it's hard to tell because it's got the pink tone. <laughs> that is. It feels like the top of the butter dish. Yep, there it is. There's the top of the butter dish. It's in another dish. I mean, another bin. That's kind of why we have to tear it all That's apart. That's that candle holder thingy. Is it two of them? Um, no, this one would... Oh, yeah. This is a different one. So... Ooh, that's like extra hobnail. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a very fine hobnail finish to it. You would just pick up any she like, garage sales, thrift stores. Ooh. So. I don't know if you can see that very well, but wow. Little votive holder. Saucer plate. And I hear there's just a problem there. Like a and so far, like there's no duplicates. They're all different. Oh. Oh, you're asking about salt and pepper shakers. Yeah, that's an Avon foaming bath oil. Oh. It's an Avon casting, but look at the graphics on that. That is really cool. Oh, another hobnail footed vase with some cobwebs on it. Okay. Well, <laughs> after I picked it up, so just ignore the cobwebs. Ooh, this one's got the thing in it. Oh, yeah. Then it was a small one. There's a hobnail. Oil and vinegar. Alright. Yeah, we were looking for salt and pepper shakers. I was wondering if we had any of them. Oh, there's another one with a different style pattern. Alright. I think they got my first duplicate there. Um, I don't think they've had one like this. They look similar with the ruffled tops, but they're all kind of different. Different. At least that I know. Oh, yeah, here's one with the stopper. Oops. It's a Fenton, right? Oh, that's a little... Fenton, again, this would be an ashtray. Uh -oh. Has the label still on it? It would have been an ashtray because the little thing is there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Want to go the last one? Yeah. We have room for it. <laughs> we can make a little room. Ooh, you get to find which one that goes. Oh. Could do the in your stuff. Well, no, that one didn't have a lid. No, yeah, because it wouldn't be a hobnail one without food. Oh. Schmidt. There's Schmidt designs on the bottom. Candlestick, that's cool. That's neat. Yep, that's a little creamer. I was looking for a creamer. Do you want to keep that one? Ooh. Oh, these are for spices, I bet. Is this a spice container, maybe? 
them open. Oh, it could have been a perfume or something, oil or something from Avon Mansion. Okay, Avon, but she has a white um, ball mason jar cap. Oh, fun! She had the little stand with it. Yeah. Oh, here's a twin to that one. Oh, yeah, that was a thing. Our first duplicate. It's amazing considering how many hundreds she has. Oh, you know, that's look at that. unique too. That's a very unique pattern. So is this one. Yeah, this is that leaf pattern. They're, the punch bowl set is in the same. There's a punch bowl set that we have that we found complete new in the box. And it's the, of that the leaf pattern. That's a picture. And a great picture. Oh, that is cool. Yep. Wait to the other candlestick where we do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, we haven't found any that shape yet. A little rectangle. We've got two lids now. No bottom yet. Look at that. Oh, I like that too. Yeah, this has the, the fire, the red fire on it. That is beautiful. Oh, this is a, a Westmoreland. It's marked on the back. Beautiful Westmoreland show. Look. What is this thing? Mystery. It's a basket. around the edge. If we get through all of this without breaking anything, we'll be really happy. And again, there's only one that I found a chip in. Everything else is like perfect. Just amazing. Oh, it's a little oil lamp. And it's got, look at these little tiny flowers on it. That's really cool. There should be a chimney for that too. Here's a little nut bowl. Oh, there's another. This is a oh Maydwell. Uh, I've never seen a milk glass three um oh, I can't think of the name of it. Always happens to me. Insulator. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a beautiful. Another beautiful baby. Amazing. I know they made so many different types, did you? <laughs> Another creamer. Oh, there's two of these. Oh, yeah. Another one of those leaf bowls. And again, that's why we're unpacking all this so we can put the sets together. Oh, that's the second one of these. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's another. Oh, that's an Avon, probably a powder dish, originally. Did that have a little lid? Um, could have. And another tanker. Look at that leaf pattern. Great for me. That's really cool. It's really raised. It's a beautiful mode. Beautiful little compote. Four more. Oh, here's the rectangle for the lid. I've got to find the lid for that. Oh. oh, there it is. There's the lid. Oh, wow. oh that's Anchor Hopkins. This is so cool. Oh, that is. Look at that. I don't think I see the design on that. 
Beautiful swan. Would that have had a lid? Um, what would that be? I don't know. It could have had a lid. Yeah. It's got a little rim like it. These are the last ones. At least out of this thing. <laughs> it's a lid. Yeah, well, it's a lid. I don't have any big. Oh, oh. that one? Yeah, that one. Close on that one. There we go. Oh, and this is the one for this lid. There we go. All right, there you go. That's one load. There's probably, well, we have three boxes plus the other things in there, plus who knows how many more boxes that we are still in the car that Cindy picked up today. So, and there's still more at their house. So this is going to be a multiple part series of going through milk glass. But this is so fun. So, uh, my guess is there's about three to five hundred pieces. Yeah, I can tell. And there's some <laughs> great, great pieces. That's what's amazing. I don't know much about milk glass, um, but we'll be learning. So it'll be fun. So, anyway, catch you guys later.